Hey friends, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom and welcome to my channel. subscriber to Crafty Life Mom. I just want to say thank you for subscribing and if you are watching this video and have not yet subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I upload a new craft DIY video to Crafty Life Mom. And if you want to, you can check out craftylifemom.com where I actually give and provide the full tutorials for all of the crafts and DIYs that I share on this channel. You can also subscribe to my emailing list and actually have access to all of the Cricut and Silhouette cutting files and SVG files and printables that I have in my resource library, which is a whole tab on craftylifemom.com. So, now for today's DIYs, I just wanna share with you, I am standing in front of my coffee bar that is in my home just off the kitchen and it is where I start my day every day. It is also one of my most favorite places to decorate and change up the decor for when I decorate for every season or every holiday. It just seems like it is the easiest place to actually change out the items and they can be fairly small, so it's not hard and it's not a lot to actually store the different the different, the different DIYs or different decor items for every holiday. So, for today's DIY, I have wanted for a while now a black Ray Dunn Halloween mug since I started add adding Halloween decor to my home. And I have just not been able to find one. I even am not particular as to what it would say, but since I am tired of looking for one and just kind of giving up, I decided to create one myself. So I just took a black mug that I found from the Dollar Tree and added my own decal Ray Dunn font inspired, which this one I used a purple metallic vinyl, which I will link down below where you can find it. And it is super adorable how it turned out. It says witches brew. I just thought that was super cute. And it's a little bit different from the traditional hocus pocus mug that you see all over Instagram. The other DIY that I am sharing with you today is this super cute, haunted farmhouse sign that I actually just have displayed on the very top of, um, or on the second shelf here of my coffee bar. I used a Dollar Tree crate sign that had the buffalo check pattern around the edge. And again, just using some black traditional vinyl, I added that with these pumpkins that are actually glittered and they just kind of pressed right on. And yeah, it turned out super cute. So I am sharing how I created these today with you. So I'll flip the camera around, let's get started.
guys, well that's it for today's DIYs. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!